installing NetEyes. Hi guys, my name is Peter and in this episode we're going to take a look at how to install the NetEyes appliance. At first we will import the NetEyes appliance in the virtual machine. When you do this the first time, the license agreement will pop up. In the license agreement are also the username and password you need later on to log in our web portal. Have a look at the agreement and when you accept, you click on accept and we go to the next page. In here you can give a name for the virtual machine but also the path where you would like to store it. By default these settings are fine and I would say just click on import. When the import is done, the virtual machine will start the first time. We have to stop it because it's important that we change some settings before we can use it. Go to the settings of the virtual machine. In here we see two network adapters. The first network adapter is, is used for all the devices that want to connect toward NetEyes. So for the hosts in my case. And the second adapter is mainly used for maintenance of the system. So you could give it an internet connection to do all kinds of stuff with it. So we connect the net interface toward this one. And then we click on OK. When these settings are done, we can start the virtual machine. So the first time when a virtual machine starts and we did not set it up yet, you can immediately run the NetEyes networking setup. But normally with a virtual machine, when you copy it or move it, you get the question like, did you copy it or did you move it? So it can initialize the interfaces. Unfortunately, you don't get this question when you import an OVI file, and therefore we will let NetEyes reinitialize the interfaces for us. Uh, by doing this, we have to run a small script called ck underscore eth dot pl. What you will see here is that NetEyes will reconfigure the MAC addresses for the interfaces and make everything persistent again. It asks us now to reboot, so let's do that. After the reboot, we will first have a look if our interfaces come back up the way we would like them to be. We can check this by typing the following command. If config. Um, if you see ETH0 and ETH1, then you're good to go and we can start with the NetEyes setup. To start the NetEyes setup, we type the following command. net underscore setup dot pl. Be sure that you hit enter within 5 seconds, else the setup will stop and you have to retype this command to start the setup. The first question the installation wizard is asking us is to fill in new passwords for root and also for ice. These two users are made for system maintenance only. So the passwords you type in here, you don't really have to remember them to access the web portal. It's only when you want to do maintenance on the system that you know how to log in and how to change to root. The full qualified name by default is fine. So you can just continue. And the next question is, do we want to set up the network? Yes, we want to make some changes. ETH0 is the ETH interface which is used for the hosts to connect to NetEyes, but also for us to connect to the portal. So we want this to be static, so we know which IP address to type in the web portal to reach NetEyes. So we leave it at static. Our IP address is the IP address we connected to the interface of VirtualBox or VMware. So in my case it's dot two, but in your case it can be a different subnet. So, so be sure that you know the IP address of the interface you connected to ETH0. Next step is the netmask and the default gateway. The default gateway is the interface on your local machine of your virtual machine. The not that IPv4 address is a question which is asked because it can be that your NetEyes installation is behind a not that IP address. In that case, the host needs to reach another IP address to come toward NetEyes. But in our case, since it's running locally, we don't have to type this, so we can leave it blank. The primary DNS and secondary DNS can stay default. Um, if these settings are correct, you can click on Y and continue. The next question is if we want to configure ETH1. 
We want to do that, but this one can stay on DHCP. You can fill in here your local DNS address or you can just keep the default one. If these settings are correct and you agree with it, type Y and continue. The next question would be if ETH1 is your default gateway. Yes, it is. The next question is, is ETH0 your ICE application interface? This is also correct because that's where we set up the static IP address. And if we want to save the configuration. Yes, of course, we want to do that. NetEyes will restart the network service. So all the new IP addresses and the new configuration will become active. And after that, we should be able to reach the web portal and log in the NetEyes system. Do we want to update the NTP? The default is fine. You should now be able to have a network connection toward the device. But depending on your preferences, it's also possible to change some service settings. To change the NetEyes settings, you type ice underscore setup dot pl it will ask for which server you want to change the settings now let's go for the current one yes zero in our case we only have one server so our genesis is the front end and a back end server so is it a front end yes and this question is quite important is it dns resolvable i set up my test system with ip based only because i will just access the web gui by IP in a web browser. But some people want to do this by DNS name. If that's the case, you type Y. If you want to access it by IP, like I'm going to do, you type N from no. As the notification mentions, when you do it IP based, the SSL encryption is not available. Um, Mojo has a backend server. Mojo is our API. So yes, we want that. If you want to change the port number, because ATAT is blocked and you have another port available, you can change the number here. Yes, our Genesis is also the database server. Yes. This is all fine. If you automatically want to time out your session after a couple of hours, you can type that here. By default, it's 12. So, yes, this is fine. I will use the public wiki. And that's it. Installation process will go now and it will set up the server based on the settings we just typed. So that's it guys. If everything goes well now we can connect to our web portal and start doing some network automation. To connect to the web portal you open a browser you prefer and you type in the IP address you assigned to the ETH0 interface. If everything goes well this screen will pop up and in here you can log in with the credentials you saw in the beginning in the license agreement. So these were NetEyes and NetEyes01. If you would like to change the username or password, we go to Admin, Users. You click on your user and here at the bottom you can set up a new password and then confirm it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. You should now be able to, to install a fully functional NetEyes appliance. At the end of this video, I will play some commands which were handy during the installation so you have them as a brief overview at the end. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you back at the next episode.